Hey, what's going on? Dave Erickson here with Everyman Driver, and this week I had the 2020 Acura MDX, which features the A-Spec styling package, which includes sport seats with Alcantara inserts and contrast stitching, sport pedals, ventilated seats, these 20-inch alloy wheels, all-season tires, and LED fog lights. Under the hood is a 3.5-liter V6 engine with variable cylinder management, 290 ponies with a 9-speed automatic transmission, fuel economy 19 city, 25 highway. It also has super handling all-wheel drive. What is this super handling all-wheel drive you speak of, Dave, and how is it different than all-wheel drive? Well, here's a breakdown. The super handling all-wheel drive system was developed by the Honda Motor Company and is featured on some of Honda's and Acura's top model SUVs like the MDX we have here, allowing them to achieve optimum traction and handling performance. But to better understand how this super handling all-wheel drive system works, it's probably helpful to understand the basics of an all-wheel drive system. All-wheel drive systems, including Honda's super handling all-wheel drive, feature drive trains that direct the engine horsepower to all four of the vehicle's wheels. And this gives the vehicle maximum traction, as well as safe and stable handling, especially during inclement weather. Super handling all-wheel drive differs from a conventional all-wheel drive system by incorporating a special electromagnetic clutch mechanism for the rear wheels. This clutch mechanism is electronically controlled, allowing the super handling all-wheel drive system to alter torque delivery to the rear wheels at all times. This rear clutch mechanism in the super handling all-wheel drive system will direct the increased amount of power to the outside wheel when cornering. When the system senses that the inside wheel is losing traction, it will direct that excess power to the vehicle's outside wheel. The modified torque delivery at the rear wheels allows for an increased amount of traction when cornering, and this helps keep the vehicle stable. It can also increase cornering speeds for performance-oriented driving. So I hope that explanation clears up anything about what super handling all-wheel drive is compared to all-wheel drive. I hope you enjoy this video. Until I see you next time, have a great one. Adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comments section below.